Hey everyone, Paint with Rick. How you doing? Welcome to the uh, channel. These are the colors I'm using today. Raw Sienna, white, titanium white, uh, Alzerian Crimson, Hooker Green. These are all Liquitex Basics Acrylics, okay? Burnt Umber and uh, Ultramarine Blue. Those are the colors you need and yellow, okay? Just regular uh, primary yellow. And when I, when I put the paint up here, I'll tell you what I'm using. That way uh, you know the color. I'm a, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a, uh, a beginner type painting. I'll do a cool set of mountains coming from here, going back off into the distance here. Kind of rugged mountains, okay? Not pointy tops. More like rugged uh, ridges at the top, okay? And then I want to have uh, some land coming forward here, here, and here, and then finally here with water coming down in the middle. I'm going to use a, uh, a bristle brush, a number two, to lay the, the sky in, so... Oh, uh, there's one more color I forgot to tell you. Uh, Payne's Gray. Now, this is optional. You can use black and white to make gray. But I use Payne's Gray. And I mix the little white in it. This Payne's Gray here. I mixed white in it to get a light color. I'm going to use that a little bit in the sky. So, I know my mountains are going to come across here at an angle. So what I'm going to do is start with the sky, okay? And I got a jug of water here. And I got, uh, this is what you need to paint if you want. This is a beginner's acrylic painting. And I keep a paper towel in my left hand to wipe. And you just need your basic acrylic brushes, like a filbert brush. Uh, fan brushes to make the evergreen trees. Uh, you could use a, a flat brush if you want. And the reason I use these uh, bristle brushes to, to fill in more of the sky right away. Because if you use this brush with gray and blue, it's going to take you forever. You'll, you'll see. And it's okay to use uh, bristle brushes with... Uh, acrylic so what I'm gonna do is wet my brush a little and I'm gonna start with the gray up here okay we'll have a little bit of a gray sky maybe just in this top corner here okay now I'm gonna dip the brush in the water and grab some of that light blue that I made I mixed the ultra marine blue with some white to uh, lighten it up a bit because if you don't lighten it up you're going to get that really bright blue up there okay so I already mixed it with uh, some white to uh, lighten it up a bit okay and what I'm going to do my mountains are going to come across here so what I'm going to do right now is dip my brush and grab a little titanium white on my brush and just kind of wipe it in here at the bottom. I'm trying to lighten up the uh, horizon here with a light blue. And I'm also going to put some color underneath the mountains here so I can put the mountains on top of this color. I'm going to try and put a little white up in here to maybe create some distant clouds just like that now you also need to get uh, a mop brush okay now what I'm gonna do is blend this in okay got a bristle up there I'm gonna bl lightly blend 
these white spots out into the blue, into the gray, very lightly. Just get a blend on them. What it's doing, I'm taking all the, the brush strokes out from that bristle brush and trying to smooth it up a bit. Doesn't that look cool? Some of that white looks like uh, clouds now, okay? Just lightly blend it. There, we got a nice uh, bluish sky with a little gray in it. When I put a cloud up there, it might take on a gray appearance. So, so there's the sky. Very easy. Anybody can do this. This, uh, this is going to be a beginner's painting. So now I'm going to grab a, a uh, filbert brush, okay? I believe this was a number four is what I... Uh, let me see something real quick. I got a smaller filbert brush that has a tag on it. There we go. And this one says it's a four. That's a four, so this must be a six or an eight. So I'm going to use this to make the mountains now. And what I'm going to do is use Payne's Gray, okay? I might, uh, I guess, right out of the tube. So what I'm going to have is, uh, I'm going to have mountains coming off uh, low here. And uh, kind of going up at an angle. But I don't want them to be pointy. So what I'm going to do is make them... Um, kind of rigid so what you do is just flatten out the tops a little like this okay now let's get some color and let's pull down the mountain a little bit just pull the color down what I'm doing now is just getting under paint on the painting okay the canvas we're going to paint over this color, so I'm just trying to get a shape up there right now of uh, some cool mountains. Okay. Very good. That looks good. Grab a little bit of titanium white now and put it at the bottom of the mountain and just brush it in. And bring it down a bit like this okay wow that looks good let's keep working forward what I think I'm gonna do is I'll have uh, some trees back here in the middle on some land here then it's gonna come around like this with the uh, another piece of land here and then uh, some more land in here coming around to the front here so this is all going to be water in here so let's uh let's go ahead and lay in some water okay right down in here i'm going to go back to my brush that i put the sky in with and just put some uh of that light blue uh, run your brush straight across like this horizontal with the same color as the sky just run the paint straight across dip a little bit into the water just a little okay and uh, put some blue down here where I just I laid all this in here as groundwork so we don't have to put you can go over it if you want but basically we're gonna have water right down this area here and you don't have to fill it all in because we're gonna hit it again this is just the underpaint 
because eventually I'm going to lighten this up back here with like titanium white lighten up the distance and the the front here I'm going to actually brighten it up like this by the time uh, I get done with the painting okay grayer back here and then we can start seeing colors as it gets closer to us so there we go we got we're almost done with the underpaint I'm gonna lay in uh, some uh, <clears throat> light color here because I'm gonna have a, some trees running up over here so what I'm gonna do is put some uh, I didn't mix it on my palette yet I usually have it ready so now you're gonna have to mix a little bit of raw sienna and a little bit of the yellow mix those two together it's going to make like a yellow ochre okay just mix those two together let's grab uh i'll grab a filbert brush now because this is all smaller work now make sure if you use the big brush for the sky and the water uh rinse that off in the water right now so it doesn't harden on you because we won't be using that brush probably for a while so back here what i want to do is lay in some of that yellow ochre now at the bottom of this mountain okay let's uh, bring it to about here maybe come up the mountain a little way because uh we'll have it blend in with maybe some of the mountain when i do the snow up there so that's what i want there because i know i'm going to have a dark tree here you don't want to put a dark color there over here i'm going to have uh, trees here and then a, a big tree coming from down here over here so i'm going to put yellow ochre over here as well so just put some yellow ochre down here this is going to be groundwork in here maybe it's dead grass or grass that's gone dormant very good let's go ahead and uh do it down here as well we'll put all this same color on each piece of land coming into the scene yellow ochre we're going to say maybe it's winter time and all the grass went dormant out there. It was dry, okay? So, it's a cool color. And then like I said, when we lay our dark trees over it, the, it, the trees will show up a lot better. We're just getting our underpaint done, okay? That's all we're doing right now. I'm going to line the water probably with some bushes and trees. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to grab, uh, I didn't put any uh, burnt umber. Grab a little burnt umber on your brush now, the same brush. Uh, dip into the water a little bit, grab some burnt umber, and maybe put some indications of some brown out here in the distance just a little bit just to change up the flavor back there like right here on top okay it makes it maybe look like a ridge now or something okay and then i'm going to put burnt umber down here at the bottom to make this look like maybe dirt but it, it's just under paint right now so just kind of just scum it in there right now don't you don't have to worry about laying it in perfect just yet I like that it's like golden color with some brown in it doesn't that look wicked let's try and blend that a little bit 
with the blender brush. Wipe the, your blender brush off and let's hit it a little bit. See what it does. Kind of like that. I'm going to put a little bit of brown out here to burnt umber. Just a little. All right, there's our underpaint is done. Let me see how it looks in the frame. 15 minutes. Not bad. Let's see if we can put our we can put our snow up now. Let's use the same brush. Just rinse it off. Rinse it off with the water. Get it nice and uh, clean because we're going to put some white up here now. I'll show you what we're going to do. Uh, dip your brush in the water. Grab a bunch of white. Now we're going to make some ridges up here. Uh, a whole bunch of them in white. Just what we're going to do is pull down the white in uh, certain areas up here. Okay. Just pull it down, and we're going to create different uh, peaks up there. A bunch of bunch of uh, different uh, like uh, ridges on top. Okay, this these small ones. We'll just put it on the right hand side there. Let's create some ridges up in here. Very good. Now let's mix a little bit of uh, your ultramarine blue and some white together. And you'll get like a bluish color. And now what we want to do in between uh, your white, next to your white, we're going to put a little bit of this color. Okay. Just in between next to your white pull it like a knife next to the white everywhere you have white you got to pull this uh, shade color is what I call it just pull it down to the left Doesn't that look cool? Now wipe your brush off. I'm going to come up here and try and blend uh, the edge where the two colors are meeting. Just kind of get a blend on this where the blue and the white are meeting just get a blend on it just a little blend it'll help soften the mountain and make it look uh, further back in the distance okay just like that that looks pretty cool i'm going to fix this one up a little here and I'm actually going to turn this one side more to a, a shade color. So I didn't make the ridges good enough in there. So I'm going to turn that all into shadow there. Then I'm going to re-hit this with white. And turn that mountain a little bit there we go that looks a little better all right just work your mountain like that we're gonna I'm gonna come back and uh, 
put more white up there when that all dries because this white believe it or not it's going to soak in and it's going to get lighter so at the bottom of the mountain grab a little more white and let's uh put some white in down here just wet your brush a little grab some white trying to make it look like a some fog down there real easy painting today what we got to do back here is line this water with some trees so from about don't put anything here because we're going to run a tree here from about uh we're going to put trees here too but i'm going to run with this filbert brush i mixed uh hooker green all right, here you get to mix some hooker green and burnt umber together. Take uh, three quarters hooker green and about, uh, do half and half, half hooker green and half burnt umber, and you'll get a dark green color. It almost looks like sap green, okay? And then add a little bit of gray to it, okay? Just a little bit of gray. Just a little bit of gray. This is going to be for these distant uh, trees back here. I'm just going to use a, a filbert brush and then just make these trees different heights back here. Just straight across. They're distant trees out there under the mountain and then with your brush pull it pull underneath straight across just like that distant trees as trees get further back from the your eye what happens uh they turn almost grayish gray green so they're not as bright up front here and i'm going to take my uh a number two fan brush with some uh, titanium white on it and I'm going to pull to the right on this side and to the left on this side just to line that short that water the shore with some white back there okay very good it's looking good this is a beginner's painting so it's still going to look good I'm not trying to hurry. I don't want this to be a long video. It's already at 22 minutes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to lay in all the trees. I'm going to use a number uh, four acrylic fan brush, okay? And now we're going to start using that uh, hooker green that's mixed with uh, the burnt umber. And what I'm gonna do is have uh, some distant trees right here. I'm gonna, just gonna pop them in real quick and then I'll put the, the leaves on them. So we're gonna have, uh, let's put five of them there now with the corner of your brush just stay right on the middle of your trunk and bring your branches down and create a tree back there okay let's do the next one stay small on the top use the corner of the brush just like that I'm going to go pretty fast. These trees are pretty far away, but they're getting closer to us than those. They're there we go. Just indication of uh, tree tops back there. Now with your brush at the bottom, come underneath it and pull it to the right. Just like that. 
Very good. Okay, now the next set of trees we're going to have on this uh, here. Just fill your brush up again. And we're going to make them a little taller now because they're getting closer. So we put one there. Just stay right on the middle of your trunk and stamp it down. Get wider at the bottom. Very good. I'm going to try and go fast now. And... Uh, get this painting done so I don't have to make two of them. And let's put another one here. A little shorter. Just use the corner of your brush. Now with, pull this one to the left at the bottom. I'm not going to pull it as far as I did over there because it's going to get covered anyway. All right, so now we're going to keep working our way forward. I'm going to have a big tree now on this one. <clears throat> I'll show you what I usually do. I usually uh, I'll grab a, a bristle brush and uh, I usually put uh, some bushes in here first like this and then I run my tree okay let's run a big tree up here they're getting bigger now because uh, we're getting closer to us use the corner of the brush and design your tree as you come down and just use the this corner and as you get down just get wider and wider and then stand back and look at it if, if you need to add a few more branches go ahead and do it okay just like that so now we're gonna have a big one down here let me put my bushes in again. I'll show you how. I'll just run some bushes here. I'll pull them to the left here. All right, let's run a big tree on this side here now. Let's see where I am on time. 28 minutes. I don't know why these are taking longer. Uh, I used to do my uh, oil paintings pretty quick. I just started doing acrylic, so they're taking me longer for some reason. Maybe because I'm explaining it more. This is a big tree, so I'm going to stay pretty skinny. Until I get down past the mountain. I don't want to cover all the mountain up. And I'm going to have to get in here a little bit. And try and duck down. Wet your brush. If, uh, if it's not coming off the brush too easy, just wet it a little more. All right, there, I'm just going fast. Take your time and make your, your trees look nice. I usually kind of fill them in here in the middle to put more branches in here. I'm gonna highlight that to make the branches come out. Doesn't that look cool? We got a nice little scene going on. I haven't even done the clouds yet. <laughs> Man, I might have to do two parts here. This has to be widened out a little bit but that's how you do it and i mixed all these colors so that's pretty nice uh, you don't want to use the color uh right out of the tube uh, 
you got to mix the colors to get uh, mixing the colors is the key to your artwork that's what's going to separate your art from other people. So when you start mixing, you should take notes on how you mixed your paint uh, to make them look different than other people's paintings, you know. Keep a list of how you're uh, mixing everything, okay? Trying to create some cool bushes here. Make these a little bigger. Yeah. Very good. It's looking good. What I think I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight this one here. And believe it or not, I'm going to use some of that light blue. That we used in the sky okay uh, and since it's wet it, it it should mix in with the green uh, just take a little bit of this light blue that you used in the sky and just use the corner and you, you're trying to hit just the top part of the uh, branches okay just the top parts of them Okay, I'll go up further now, get some more paint. But this blue is going to mix in with the, the green, and it's going to create a different uh, green color on the tree there. Okay, let's highlight a little bit of this tree now with the same color, just uh, here in the middle, because the branches kind of got distorted. Just to bring some branches out there. Okay, now you can kind of see them. Let's highlight these trees with the same blue. But let's just come down on the, the one side. Okay, just one side of them. The side the light's hitting on. It's a different way to highlight. It, it gives the tree dimension. See the dark you leave there? Those are far away. You don't have to mess with those. These are even farther away. You don't have to mess with those. Now let's put a little, I'm going to grab a, a little titanium white on my fan brush here and pull some white out underneath these bushes. Just line the bottom of the bushes with some white. See that? We're creating a different color on the grass down there now, see? That's why I was saying don't worry about this underpaint because we're going to do other things to it. Let's do that here too. Let's grab a little titanium white on your fan brush and from your bushes pull to the right. And then fill this in with that greenish color. Look at that. Let's dig in a little to make that little offset down there. And that look cool? You could grab some of your dark color now and run it in the grass here to make some shadows, okay? Just a little. All right, it's looking good. I think I'm going to pause it and then do a number two, okay? Because I still have to do all the water. We have to put white underneath all these, the land here. White water. We have to do the clouds and do the highlight these bushes, figure out what's going on down here. But you see how I left it uh, light back here? This tree really shows up now, see? If this would have been a dark color, uh, this tree wouldn't show up as good. I like that color behind that tree right there. All right, look for part two. Should be right after this one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, too.
I got a lot of things coming out up this uh, summer. Cheers. <laughs>